Okay guys, so my cool vlogging selfie holder is absolutely amazing. It's like a freaking spider monkey. And so I'm able to put it up here on my elliptical, which is pretty awesome. So you guys can get a good view of me doing my elliptical. And this baby is not moving here. Oh, there it goes a little bit. But this thing is so cool. I just wanna like take it everywhere I go. <sighs> kind of, not really, but I'm about done. I've got three more minutes left. And I'm feeling better. It's so funny because sometimes the like doing my cardio, before I come and do my cardio, I'm kind of like blab. And then once I start doing it, it's just like, I feel like it releases so many endorphins that it's just like this runner's high, pretty much. And previously guys, before I was involved in the bodybuilding world, I was definitely, I guess you could say a runner. Um, I did not do track and school or anything like that. But like for me, I found that running was super, super therapeutic for myself um, through my life. Happy, sad, angry. I would always go for a run. And I found that it, sorry. I found that it really just gave me life. <laughs> it made me feel really good. It just released so many endorphins where it was just like this runner's high and it just really started my day or sometimes I'd even run at night. But either way, like that was what I did a lot before I got into the bodybuilding world. I just would just run and I loved it. So doing the elliptical is somewhat close to it, but I love the elliptical. I think it is just a great cardio machine to use for myself, especially. I feel like it's good on my body. It's not over fatiguing. I find that the Stairmaster is very fatiguing on your body, on your legs, and just in general, it's exhausting. So the elliptical gets my heart rate up. I feel like I'm moving like my whole body as I'm doing my cardio, I could take my hands off if I want and just kind of do this, kind of bend over and work and like tighten those hamstrings and glutes. I mean, it's just, it's a really, really awesome machine. I love it. So let's see, I'm done. 45 minutes, guys. All done with my cardio. And I'm gonna do, okay, look, I'm still going extra credit. Ouch, foes. Hey, here we go. Had an out, and I feel accomplished. I feel amazing. I just feel like I'm ready to conquer the day, guys. I just love finishing like my morning routine. It's just honestly, it's the best. It's a great feeling. So now I am walking back and I'm gonna open the door. Walking back because that's what I do. Usually walk here to do my cardio and then walk back. And now I'm going to make my breakfast because I am just absolutely starving. So hungry this morning, guys. My new low yesterday was, what well, was 154.6. And then this morning I was 155. So I don't know guys, I feel like, it's just crazy. Like the weight and then the way that your body looks, just wild. And it's really cool because every year it's different. And for myself, when I'd competed, I've always noted and remember like my weight when I competed 
the week of peak week, um, day of, and even just obviously the weight and the way that my body looks. And it's just crazy because it's cool because you can really see the progress that way. You can see the progress in the way that your body looks with the weight difference. So we've definitely put on the muscle needed. I feel great and guys, I'm gonna go because this is getting a little pain in the butt carrying all this stuff on my hand. So when I got back from cardio, I made a meal, ate that and took a little, I guess you could say like tiny 15 minute nap. I didn't even fall asleep, but it was nice just to like rest on the couch, close my eyes. I took a shower, got ready, and I am, Mike and I are training back today. We're gonna do a couple different things today. But first I need my pre-workout. <laughs> so today I'm gonna use the Hostility Foundation from Hostile. This has been my go-to, honestly. This is the Orange Fury, it is so delicious. And I'm really excited because I got this, it's called Voltrix. And I'll show you guys, it's it's really cool. It's like a, um, it's a protein shaker, but it is, it blends. So you can really mix anything in this. And the guy gave me a pink one. I didn't even know what color I was getting. And I was hoping that it was a good color. And I opened the box and I was like, oh my gosh, perfect. So I'll show you guys, it's really cool. I'm gonna add my water first. But if you look, see it has like a little like blender thing inside. And then this is like the bottom of it. And it comes with like a little charger. So you can charge this, which is super convenient. You can travel with this. Okay, add my water. I usually do like about that much. Okay, so then I'm gonna add, I don't know if I wanna do a full scoop. So full scoop is 200, but I don't know if I want that much right now. I've been trying to like really not take just like tons of caffeine throughout my day. Try to stay away from a lot of it. Keep myself as like healthy as possible. So I'll just add like about half a scoop, which eight grams. Okay, that's about right. Cause one scoop is 23 grams. So do a little bit more, do like 10, perfect. Add my salt, got some Himalayan salt here. Creatine. I'm actually just like using my little baggies that I had left over from the Arnold. And my glutamine. Okay, so I got it all in there and now watch this. Okay, so put my lid on here first. That'd probably be smart. Just like that. Then I'm going to make sure this is on here. Like that. And then watch. It's really cool. Pretty schnazzy, if you ask me. I'm like obsessed with this thing. So I'm gonna sip on this and then we're gonna head out to the gym and train some back. Okay, just got to the gym and it is absolutely gorgeous outside. 
not too hot, but I feel like this weather has been so weird. It's been super moody. Texas is usually always really moody, but I know everywhere it's been really moody. So let's go have a kick-ass training session. So I'm actually just gonna be training by myself and I'm going to self-record with my phone and see how this works out. I should have brought a taller tripod because what I have it on right now is too short and so I don't have anything to really stand it on, but let's try it out guys, see how this works. Either way, we're gonna get some cool footage today.
which I'm going to, but I feel like it's always really nice to kind of start with your first set, really trying to feel out your weight and just getting nice and warmed up, getting technique down, and then you're good to go with your next set. So I'm going to do two working sets with these, and I think I'm gonna go up to 50 I think 50 will be the good number for myself. And I am attempting to at least do 10 to 15 reps with 50, so let's we'll see how I do. Got my grips. grips. These are the extreme ones. They are extreme. longer doing one arm at a time but or one side at a time but the one arm rows I just really love them just because I'm just really isolating but I feel like it just really helps you if you've had like injuries or just really have an imbalance this really helps to engage and focus and find a connection in that area so, I'm going to do one more, and then I'll be done with those, because I'm doing a lot of mid-back rows. I just really, really want to think back, especially on stage. Whew. Yeah. 
do my first set of lap cool downs. Some perfect drums playing right now. Got my extension on there. Put my grip back on. on to some shrubs. fix this up. I guess like technical difficulties is I'm trying to figure out how to do this especially when you haven't really done it before so finding like the angles what looks good in here especially like with this little Joby stick. That's better. Ah.
I get better light here. It's not as bright. <laughs> Okay, so just finished my back training. My back feels so good. Guys, I tried to get my exercises as best as I could. I think this is just something like a learning experience and trying to kind of set this up. I think next time I'm going to bring my big tripod and not my little Joby here, my little spider monkey, because the little spider monkey was having a hard time. I had to have like, an equipment some kind of equipment to wrap it on which as you've seen we got some good stuff but that's my day and it's beautiful outside i'm a little sleepy i'm most hungry going to have my as you guys know creamerize protein and bananas but it has not gone old yet so i'm happy with it but anyways maybe we'll film some stuff 
later on what I'm doing for the rest of the day. But for now, this is really has been the start of my morning, my day. And I think Mike is going to cook me a steak later. I'm really, really excited. I can tell it's like my body craves a bloody steak. And surprisingly, it tastes amazing with rice. I don't know what it is about it. Just like the salt and pepper and steak flavor. It just is like the perfect combination. So I'm really, really looking forward to that, to be honest with you. <laughs> but I think we're going we're gonna to go to HEB here, go pick up a few items and then head home. And I'm going to get my meal in. Hope you guys enjoyed that.